Okay, for your rock beat, first the hands. The right hand is on the hi-hat. The left hand is on the snare. Okay. And the pattern is one and two and a three E and four and one and two and a three E and four and. So one and is just the hi-hat. Two is both at the same time, and then the and of two is the hi hat, and then they go back and forth. The and of two, the uh of two, a uh, three e and, and then on beat four they're together again. Four and, so it's again ready go. One and two and a uh, three e and four and one and two and a uh, three e and four. And one and two and a three E and four and one and two and a three E and four and let's do some more one and two and a three E and four and one and two and a three E and four and one and two and a three E and four and one and two and a three E and four and okay. The bass drum, all it plays on is on beat one and the and of three. So it goes one and two and three and four and 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 so I'm going to combine that with the hi hat and it'll be very easy to do because it's just go to ready go one and two and three and four and 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 okay then this is all three parts and be easy and patient with yourself doing these because there's a lot of stuff going on you might want to just start real slow and go one and two and a three e and four and one and two and a three e and four Four. That's where the bass drum goes. One and two and a three E and four and one and two and a three E and let's do some more. One and two and a three E and four and one and two and a three E and four and one and Two and a three E and four and one and two and a three E and just a few more. One and two and a three E and four and one and two and a three E and four and one and two and a three E and four. One and two and a three. E. Another round just to get it a muscle memory. One and two and a three E and four and one and two and a three E and four and one and two and a three E and four and one and two and a three E and and, and what I'd like you to do is when you're comfortable doing it at that speed, go ahead and do the settings in the YouTube with that little pinwheel and you can up the speed a little, just a little, and then play this whole video back with it just a little faster so that, you know, you're getting the... But don't speed it up until you have it real clear. 
clean and accurate going slow because if you get sloppy when you're going slow when you speed it up the sloppy goes with you all right